my gosh, long time no see. You probably thought I was never going to vlog again, but here we are. We are doing it. We are going to vlog this weekend. I don't know if I'm gonna be vlogging all weekend. Um, I just figure we're doing some adulting today. Um, so I figured I would bring you guys along with and just kind of chit chat and get you guys caught up on just Roberry life, I guess. It's been, it, it's been, it's been a few months. <laughs> it's been a few months since we vlogged. Um, it's just, you know, life was just crazy. We were crazy busy with Sensi and then the holidays and, sickness and all the things so but here we are it is 2024 so happy new year to everybody i hope your holidays were amazing i hope your year is off to an, a fantastic start um and yeah here we are we're vlogging we're doing it um we like i said we are actually going to be we're gonna be running some errands so you're gonna come along with us and i am just going to put on just a tiny bit of makeup um, and I figured while I'm doing that I can uh, just chat with you guys and get um, get you caught up I guess um, so nothing too super crazy I mean just I think everybody just everybody's life just gets a little bit um, crazy during the holidays and and whatnot our holidays were super low-key um, Sean got super sick so even more low-key because <laughs> it was literally just us um but we did celebrate with his mom and stepdad um I think it was before it was actually before Christmas um it was just us and it was it was really nice um what else I think the big major drama I guess of the holidays was um our HOA <laughs> um which we have like put all of that like all over Facebook and stuff anyway so if you follow us on Facebook you've probably already seen um, and I think I put it on Instagram too um, we hate our HOA <laughs> which is so silly because there's literally like 11 12 houses here and we are our own HOA it's not like done by a third-party company or anything it's literally like three neighbors who like manage the HOA or whatever um, and they're just they're just idiots I'll be totally honest they're just they're idiots and they have no idea what they're doing and they just um don't like us <laughs> just don't like us for whatever reason and we put in a request to have trim lights put on the house like really nice um really nice trim lights that are they're permanent um but they're hidden they're hidden in the house trim so you don't see it unless the, the lights are on um and it was denied <laughs> we were like what um it, it, it's like a whole thing and it, they're they're jerks and just the way they went about like interacting with us and telling us that they just they just say no and that just it just is what it is um it's just it was really rude it was really not good but we got an, a new flag for our flagpole that says defund the HOA <laughs> which is which is awesome um so they definitely will get the clue that we we don't like them time for a little foundation here just to make me look a little less dead <laughs> um yeah but we were even like talking to another neighbor because the one of the things that they're doing they are actually lowering our HOA fees they just increased it last year and now they're decreasing it and it's just like like we're all for like decreasing and saving money but like there needs to be votes and things on you know this type of thing when it involves like money and decisions that like affect us as like a neighborhood I guess I don't know they're just it's the whole thing is weird but um it's a nightmare and we we don't like them so um <clears throat> as for what we are doing today so um like I said we are adulting <laughs> adulting at its finest we need a new couch we need a new, we need a new couch um we kind of figured it was going to be happening um at some point like in the somewhat near future but the um like the reclining mechanism or whatever is like broken on one of the sides and so uh we we're like you know what let's just let's hop over to rc willie and um see what they have so not ideal timing but it is what it is so we're just gonna hop over there and see see what they have there is a really nice gray sectional that sean found online um so we'll kind of go and check that out um 
We'll check that out today or see if there's something else that we like better. We'll see. Um, really, really exciting news. If you have been a vlog OG with us for a long time now, you may remember back in the day we used to do Burger Fridays and it was always like, was it Famous Burger? I think it was like Famous Burger. It was when we lived in California. And um, so we would always do like hamburgers were our Friday night dinner. Like that was always like our staple. And um, it was always either between In-N-Out Burger, so good, um, or Famous Burger or we would make our own burgers, but it was always like Burger Friday. Well, today's Friday, happy Friday, friends. Um, and guess what? Idaho has our very first in and out Oh my gosh, so, so exciting. Um, what's not exciting is the massive lines because <laughs> everyone who lives here is basically from California. So um, we've, we've all been wanting in and out real bad. <laughs> There, oh gosh, I forgot how many burgers they sold the first night, but it was like people were waiting in the snow, freezing cold, waiting like overnight for these burgers. I'm like, don't get me wrong. Like I love me some in and out but I'm not waiting for like nine hours for a hamburger. I'm not doing it. So it's been a few weeks now. So, and since it's Friday and people are kind of back to work, um, in and out is right by RC Willie where we are checking out furniture. So we are going to give it a go. We're going to try to hit up in and out and get us a burger on this beautiful Friday. So yeah, we'll kind of see how it goes, but I'm really, really hoping since it's been, gosh, has it been like a month? I think it's been like a month now since it's been open. They're already working on two other locations here as well. One is like super close to our house, which is awesome. Um, and then one a couple hours away. So uh, we'll kind of see how, how that goes when those open up. But I'm hoping that since like this first one is like the, the big exciting one that hopefully when these other ones open, it won't be quite as crazy. I don't know. We'll see. So um, there you go. So that is what we are doing today. We are going to go check out a couch, go grab a burger. <laughs> um and yeah, we're gonna we're just gonna do it. We're gonna vlog this weekend. It's probably not gonna be anything super, super exciting, but it's been a few months, so I figured, why the heck not? Let's do it. Let's dust off the cobwebs and get to vlogging. So, welcome to the vlog, friends. We have missed you. Well, friends, look at who we have here. Uh, who are you talking to? Did you know that this is a camera? Uh, no. Well, this yeah, it looks familiar <laughs> from our first sniffs. <laughs> Uh, all right, friends, so we are on our way to RC Willie. Super, super excited. Um, uh, this is adulting at, at our finest here, uh, shopping for couches. So we'll see what we can uh, what we can gather here. And then it is, do you remember back in the day we used to do Burger Fridays? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And today's Friday. Oh, perfect. And we're doing in and out Oh, what are the odds? So excited. So excited. So here's hoping we don't have to wait nine hours for a burger. There's that. But first, RC Willie. Well, friends, you are looking at the proud new owners of a sectional couch. <laughs> um, so that last one that you saw, I, th I think, that you saw in the in the clips of like walking around uh, the furniture store, um, that's the one we went with. But instead of brown, we are going with a shark gray. And I get four free pillows. <laughs> They're not free when you're spending money on the couch but I was like oh I really like these these pillows too and then the sales guy was like good you're getting four of them <laughs> I was like good so really excited for that um I would definitely say that was a win yep 
So yeah. we're good. In and out real quick. And now, yeah, in and out. Oh, now, in oh and my out. God. Look at this guy. All right, and now we are heading over to in and out The lady that was checking us out here said that yesterday it was just like a 30 minute wait in the drive-thru, which is like, just every day at in and out anyway. So um, when Sean was checking, cause there's like, there's a whole like Facebook group for, <laughs> for um, like just the, wait time. just the wait time for in and out. So people know. Um, and as of just a little bit ago, there was like no wait. So fingers crossed that it's gonna be no wait, but I'm good to wait up to like an hour. Yeah, it's been what, open I think three weeks now. So that was the plan to let everybody lose their mind. and. Shoot, the one guy on uh, Facebook has been there 20... 27 times or something since it opened. <laughs> like, that, I don't know that you should be proud of that. <laughs> like, I, I don't know that you should be bragging about that. So, all right. Off oh, my to, God, it's what? Sensi. Oh, it's Sensi. You can't really see, but Sensi Clemens. It's right there. There it is. All right. We're off to in and out Wish us luck. <laughs> see all the, <laughs> all the cones? That's for the in and out drive through this is crazy. This is just crazy. <laughs> this is for hamburgers. This is for hamburgers, people. Yep, people are enjoying. Well, friends, we did it. We hit up the In-N-Out successfully. And really, honestly, the wait was not that bad. We, it was what, 26 minutes from the start of the line till, till we, we got order. to order. It, yeah, and then another <clears throat> seven it, minutes after that. Yeah, it, they, they were just cranking out burgers <clears throat> like crazy, um, but so, so good. Uh, yeah. So good. <laughs> in and out we're back. Whoop, whoop. So now we are, our bellies are nice and full and it is time for us to head back home. Hey friends, happy snowy Saturday to everyone. We are getting some beautiful big old snowflakes coming down today and my heart could not be happier. I think I'm like one of like five people who really truly enjoy the snow. Um, I also don't really have to go out in it. <laughs> so I just get to go play in it. Um, so I, I do realize that. Um, I also realize that we live in Idaho and not like on the East Coast where you, where y'all get like, feet of snow. We really don't get a ton of snow here. And what snow we do get here, um, just based on the last couple years that we've lived here, the snow, it like, it comes for like a day or two and then it melts off. It doesn't like stay all winter or anything like that but I just love it. I think it's absolutely beautiful. And we have a couple of really decent storms that are actually moving through right now as we speak. Um, and we've got some cold fronts too. So the snow is gonna be sticking around. So I am so excited. I'm so excited and hopefully the dogs can go out and play in it for a little bit. Um, I'll get to share that with you and all that good stuff. But it is Saturday. I've decided I'm probably going to keep the vlog open until we get our couches delivered or our couch, our couch delivered. Um, we are getting it delivered on Tuesday. So, um, I'll just kind of give you some random updates and check-ins throughout this time that I'll have the vlog open. But, um, since we have a pretty decent, um, storm or storms that are moving through. Uh, Sean and I went to the grocery store this morning, totally spaced on like doing a grocery haul with you. Um, but we definitely have enough food to get us through like the next week, basically between night of and then leftovers. Tonight we're actually doing chicken enchiladas. I think we've shown this here on our channel before, but in case you are new here, hello and welcome. I hope you'll stick around. This is the most random vlog you will ever experience. <laughs> Um, but that's just what we do. Uh, so yeah, we are doing chicken enchiladas tonight. So that makes two dinners. Um, we are trying a brand new to us, um, crock pot, gnocchi, like chicken pot pie 
crock pot meal situation. One of my friends gave it a try um, and she posted it on Facebook and I was like, oh my gosh, that looks absolutely amazing. Please give me the recipe. So we're gonna try that. That should make two meals. Um, we're also gonna do some chicken Alfredo. That should make two meals. And then we just have like some odds and ends of, of things if we can't run up to the store. So um, we'll see, but I'm just, I'm really excited that we get to just like stay put and be cozy and still work from home because we're, we're still working. But I will admit, when the snow starts falling, I, I go on like snow day mode. <laughs> I just want to go out and play in it. I want to go out and play in it. I want to just watch it from the windows because it is absolutely beautiful. Um, and so it's really hard to get work done, <laughs> but work does still need to get done. So, um, so there is that, but figured I would do a little check in with you. Sean actually ran up to the grocery store because the one thing that we forgot earlier was rice. We needed to get um, a couple boxes of rice. So he just, we have a neighborhood Walmart that's like literally just up the street. It's so dang convenient. I love that thing. It's so great. If we're just like in a pinch or like when Sean was sick recently, like I can just run up there and run back and I'm here and like, it's like a five minute like trip. It's so nice. I love having that neighborhood Walmart there. Um, but yeah, so he ran up to go get some rice and then um, he'll be back and then we will start getting dinner going.
All right, friends, and quicker than a quick thing. Actually, this is not that quick, but it is super delicious. It's been a minute since we've had this, so really excited for these chicken enchiladas. Is it, it's been a minute? It's been a minute. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. <laughs> All right, we're going to eat. All right, y'all, dinner is done. Just fed the dogs, brought them out. Figured I'd give you a little snur update. Um, yeah, I'd say we've, we've gotten a couple of inches, nothing too crazy but also do you like the lights of my little Christmas trees <laughs> we're gonna keep those out um, or keep them up all year just because they're festive and they're fun and I love it so all right we are gonna sign off for the evening but I'll check in with y'all in the morning we'll see how much snow we have by the morning Hey friends, hi, hello, and happy Sunday. I am giving you just a little afternoon check-in because there really hasn't been much going on here today. Sundays are made for resting, right? Um, but we do still have some snow on the ground, so that's been super nice. No new snow has fallen. Um, I know there is another system that's like working its way in, um, so I'll be here and ready for that. But it is cold, so that snow is really like not going anywhere. Um, but I'm here for that, so I am totally good with it. Um, but we are getting ready to go on a dog walk. So just like old times, you guys are going to come along with us on a dog walk. Although I will say these dog walks are less than exciting, even less exciting than they used to be before, um, simply because our neighborhood sucks. <laughs> So part of part of one of the reason one of the many reasons we absolutely despise our HOA is um, the fact that they like make up the, their own like stupid rules and stuff, but that make no sense. Um, but like real issues, like I don't know, like dog leash laws <laughs> that even go beyond the HOA like rules, um, they don't abide by those. We all live on acre lots, and there are two houses that just let their dogs just roam around and it is so frustrating <laughs> it's so frustrating especially when those people are like oh no it's okay like my dog is friendly it's, I don't care that your dog is friendly my dog may not be so it just makes the whole like walking experience not enjoyable so how we used to do um our neighborhood is just it's a circle um so we used to just do like our circle laps we, we can't do that anymore. We don't walk in front of the houses that let their dogs just roam around. So we literally like go from our house to the mailbox. <laughs> um, if it's early in the morning, we will walk over to the park. We've got a park that's right over here. But um, if there's going to be a bunch of people there, no one here believes in leashes. <laughs> like, so there's probably oh, like right now, since it's in the afternoon, I'm sure there's plenty of dogs that are over there right now without leashes. Um, so we're just, we're not here for it. So if it's early, early in the morning and no one's at the park, we will walk over to the park and get our exercise in. Um, but if it's in the afternoon, like it is right now, then we'll just do our super simple walk. So come on a walk with us. It's so exciting. <laughs>
All right, friends, so we are back from our super simple walk. <laughs> um, it's very much not exciting in any kind of way, but it's important to get out and get your body moving. It's important to get these guys out and get them exercised so that way they're tired and not going crazy in the house. But I was just thinking about it because um, another dog toy just arrived. <laughs> Um, I decided I would do a little dog toy segment just to kind of share some laughs together. So, um, sh I almost said Sean, <laughs> not Sean Rangers favorite toy in the whole wide world is this Kong toy that we had gotten just this like little, like we call it his baby. We got this last year or the year before um at costco costco had like a whole like kong set of like little plush dog toys um fun fact ranger actually doesn't like toys that squeak so this is a very good relationship that we have here in the roeberry house because zoe only cares about squeakers and she kills the squeaker within like five seconds and then she's done with it so then he gets his little babies <laughs> that don't squeak or make noise and he's so so gentle with them which is so sweet and so not what i would expect because ranger's absolutely crazy he's insane so you would think that he would just rip things to shreds but he this has been like his baby for a good while now so it's 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 been loved <laughs> loved and so I was like you know what let's get him a new baby for Christmas so friends when you are buying dog toys pay attention to the sizes <laughs> pay attention to the sizes because there are oh is this your baby there you go bye sir <laughs> he was sitting right here like what are you doing with my baby <laughs> he just walked away um so I was like let's get him a new little baby so I went ahead and found some like some Kong um, toys that are very much the same. I honestly wanted the same exact thing. He's so sweet. He just took it over to his bed and he's laying with it. He's so sweet. Um, so this is what arrived, <laughs> which is so funny because this is this is for like a Chihuahua. <laughs> So tiny, but he has been so sweet with it. He's been loving it. You can tell it's a little bit uh, crusty because he has definitely loved this, but I was like, it's so tiny. <laughs> it's like, let's, let me get him something that's a little bit more size appropriate. So, cause I, I wasn't looking when I, when I look, I just got ordered it on Amazon and I didn't see that it was like extra small. <laughs> it's, it's so tiny. Um, so then I looked, I was like, okay, I got to get like the extra large toys. Um, so this came, <laughs> do you see, this is huge. This is actually like bigger than my dogs. <laughs> not, not literally, but this is serious. They're looking over at me cause they, this has not, they, this has not been loved yet. <laughs> So they're both looking at me like, what do you have? What is that? That looks glorious. This is enormous. This is for like a Great Dane or a dinosaur. <laughs> this is enormous, but still super cute, right? But I was like, okay, there's, okay, I got to get something kind of in between the two sizes and it just showed up. So, um, yeah, so I, and I love this so much. I was like, it's so dang cute. So I just, I went ahead and got this. This is still pretty massive. Um, but it is a little bit smaller than the duck here. <laughs> I was really wanting something that size. Did you bring it back for me, buddy? Can I have this? Can I have this? <laughs> it's like, no. Uh, but he's very interested in what I have here. So, um, yeah, so they are going to get these. That's, I don't think I'm going to give both of them tonight. And what I like to do, let me know if you are a dog parent and you do the same thing. But because Zoe is only Zoe only cares about whatever toy Ranger has. And I think so Ranger is rescued. Both of our dogs are rescued. And um, I think the house that he was in or the family he was in before he didn't have toys. So I think he just you could tell he has like a whole different appreciation for toys here. Um, so Zoe will be a total B and came and come up and just take whatever toy he has here. He's, he's literally just like sitting here like, uh, I really want that. But yeah, how funny is that? You can have this one. <laughs> he just took that one now. Um, so he, like, Zoe will come up and take whatever toy he has and has zero care about it. Um, she'll take it, like, right out of his mouth. <laughs> it's great. And he's just like, okay, I have a whole basket of other toys over here. It's like, it's he's so dang sweet. But, um, yeah, so I don't want to give them both of these toys at the same time because then it's just going to be a total, like, poop 
poop show even more than it already is. So, but what I like to do is like when they're not paying attention, if they're sleeping or whatever, I'll take the tags off and I'll just like set it on the ground somewhere without like actually like formally giving it to them. And then they find it, they're like, Ooh, what is this? <laughs> And they just have no idea. Sometimes I'll hide it in their like toy basket. And then when they're going through and looking for toys, they're like, wait, this is something new and interesting. <laughs> so pretty funny. But so I think, I don't know. I think it'll be kind of funny to maybe gift the duck tonight. Maybe this thing is enormous. They're not even going to know what to do with this. <laughs> it's so big. It's crazy. So I think I'll do that. This one, they because they have the much, much smaller version of this. They already know what that is. But I think, honestly, with the duck, they're probably not even going to know what to do with that. So there's that. <laughs> Figured I would share with you my funny little dog toy story. Let me know if you've done the same thing and not paid attention to sizes because, yeah. I'm, I'm glad that they're at least gentle so I don't have to worry about them, like, choking on the small little one. But it's going to be interesting with these much larger toys. <laughs> All right, y'all, so it's been a little bit of time here since I checked in with you last. It is dinner time, and we I actually didn't film the, like, prepping of this dinner tonight just because um, this was our first time doing this particular meal, so um, I'm sure there's going to be some tweaks and things that we're going to do, but we are definitely excited to give this a try. This is, like I said, this is a new recipe for us. It is a, like, chicken pot pie gnocchi dish. So check it out. It actually, it looks really good. I'm really excited for this. So here is how it turned out. Um, we're thinking the sauce needs to be a little bit thicker. Um, we also have some garlic bread here, but uh, there's chicken, carrots, celery, gnocchi, um, you know, all the staples for, like, a chicken pot pie. Um, and we have plenty left over here. So, all right, we will eat this up and let you know how it turned out. Hey friends, hi, hello, happy Tuesday. It has been a couple of days since I actually picked up the camera to check in with you guys. We are closing out the vlog today. Um, today's couch delivery day, friends. I am so, so, so excited. And they actually should be here um, pretty soon. So I'm really excited, but I, it's pretty comical. The, um, seating situation <laughs> that Sean and I have, uh, conjured up that we have been doing since, uh, yesterday. Um, because we were, we're we got our new couch through RC Willie and they, they may move the original stuff for you, but they don't like haul away the other, the furniture that you're replacing. Um, so Sean and I, and one of the couches is in really good shape. So we're going to see about either donating it or something. There's, um, also a company that will come out and, um, if there's something that may be fixable, like the reclining mechanism, if that's something that they can fix, then they may take it off your hands too. So, um, we're not exactly sure what route we're going to go just yet. But the couch is being delivered today, so we needed to get the couches moved out of the living room and into the garage, so Sean and I um, moved those yesterday um, to make room for the new couch, which I'm so excited. But in the meantime, we needed, we needed somewhere to sit, right? Check it out. First of all, <laughs> the moose. The moose made an appearance. <laughs> uh, they are big, big fans, and uh, because it is a new toy, Zoe is all over it, but... Ranger's able to get some snuggles in <laughs> when she's not playing with it. So, okay. Are you guys ready for this? Are you ready for this? That's right. We're camping out. <laughs> we literally took our like camping chairs and we just have them propped up here so that we can watch TV. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty classy stuff here, friends. <laughs> pretty funny uh yeah so less than ideal but hey now we are ready to rock and roll we are ready for the couch these dogs are ready to have their couch back because they are spoiled rotten you should have seen them like when we were hauling out the couches uh miss thing over here was like um excuse me what are you doing with my couch yeah so living a rough life of having to chill on the floor pretty cool stuff huh but yeah, so this is our seating situation <laughs> for the moment, but the new couch should be delivered here very, very soon. So as soon as it's here, I will share it with you. So exciting. 
All right, friends, and quicker than a quick thing, we have a brand new couch and it looks so, so pretty. I was just telling Sean, I was like, I feel like at least our living room and everything, like the house is complete now uh, because the couches that we had before, I don't know if you remember, they were brown because our our last house was all like warm earth tones, browns, tans, and, and that kind of color scheme. Here, totally opposite. It's grays and whites and stuff like that, but we weren't just going to get rid of the couches just to get rid of them. So thanks, Sean, for breaking the couch because yeah. <laughs> this is beautiful. I love it. And now it totally like... It totally flows, check it out. All right, look at it, it's so pretty. So the one that you guys saw um, on display was actually a brown, and this is, they're calling it like a shark gray, and I've got my pillows. I love it. It's so pretty. It's so, so pretty. We've got our little cup holders. We have a little compartment here. It's all power, so the reclining features are power. It's beautiful. Merry Christmas, happy birthday to us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's perfect. Okay, and now our new couch is all ready for the dogs. <laughs> any, any, other, any other dog parents out there totally relate to this? Because, <laughs> yeah, we don't need to cover... Hey, do I shed now too? <laughs> this is my seat, bro. Come on. That's so funny. All right, perfect new couch. <laughs> All right, friends, so the time has come to close out this vlog together. Thank you so, so much for hanging out with us this weekend. I know this was scattered and random, but this is a Roberry vlog after all. Got to keep it real, right? <laughs> all right, friends, thank you again so much for hanging out with us. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like the vlogs. Let's me know that you like them and maybe you want to see them come back. <laughs> um, I am hoping to get a little bit more regular with, um, with filming these vlogs and maybe making them just a little bit shorter and precise but I can am I able to really like focus and keep anything really like precise I don't know we'll see but um, it means a lot we really appreciate the love and support here on our channel if you're new please subscribe we would love it if you would be here to hang out with us to see everything that we have going on here at the Roberry house have an amazing week you guys and we'll see you in the next one bye friends